Oh, what a day it is up here in Scone. Well, here we go. The 2015 Group 21 Grand Final is underway. Sit back and enjoy this wherever you are across the world. Now to Greach. He finds Hagen. He puts it on the toe. They're flying through McCain. But the thoroughbreds, they're not going to get back into the field. The play are they, Ben? 20, both sides with uh, one error apiece. Ben Homer in the commentary box with me this afternoon. This is Adams. He got a great ball away to Harrison. I think he's going to call it back, though. He has. Nil all on grand final day. Hagen gets it back. Is that the first try to McCormick? The fans go up. And after 16 minutes, you'd think they were the minor premiers. Now this is Gretsch. He sees the gap. He comes down to Smith. Where will it go now? They're skipping away to the left-hand side, aren't they? They're trying to find the gap. They may offload. That was touched. Could be six more. It is. Back to Hagen. He finds Pine. Oh, he's lost the ball. Moves in. No hush now. You're just not thinking straight, are you there, Ben? As they go on the attack to Topless, he gives it away to Apthorpe. They go for the line, and Watson, he scores the first try for Scone on grand final day. Now to Wicks. Back on the inside, this is Watson. Is he close? He's more than close. They're going to give the try. Well, the siren's going to go any second here. In fact, it goes right now. I think that's the siren in the background. Are in this right up to their necks. Second half underway here at Scone Park. High kickoff too. Tim Smith, he's one of the best players in the competition in, and he is one of the best for a reason. Running it back out there, running it round and oh, he's a break for Scone. Captain, Coach Ritter. He wasn't held. You can keep going. The common sense has prevailed. Now he's lost the football. Was that a professional foul? Well, he should be sent to the sin bin here, but referees just don't do it in this day and age since he's come on midway through the first half. They'll go themselves and score. The Devils are over. Gary McKeon, take a look at that. 150 kilos. How can he see with that beard? Here's the kick off the boot of Hasselman. They're going high. They've come down with the ball. And actually Jackson Ball may get the try. He does, the referee awards it. They go for a dig from Dubby Harp before finding Hagen. Is he held up? Has he lost the football? Referee has an award of the try. It's going to be no try, we know that. And one try, because they need two. Lost the football. Referee says play on down the sideline. They come. Oh, the cover defense on Adams. Impressive. Not so impressive the defense there from the Devils as Tim Smith barges his way over. Here on James Barker. They've got to go back for it. Bit scrappy here from the Thoroughbreds. It's uncharacteristic. Stolen. Was it one on one? No. Two in the tackle. Now to Wicks. Noble finds Harrison. He's got the try line in front of him. He's going to score. Has he dropped it? I think he's dropped the ball over the line. A meter out. Desperate defense here. Can they stop them? No, they can't. Ritter. He's under the post. Jared Wicks. Sends it sailing. Swap ends. And we keep on going until a field goal or a try. Could be a long afternoon here in the Hunter Valley. Maybe not. This is Dinavalu. He takes it down to the 30. Can they kick the field goal from 30 metres out? Or is that the siren in the background? That's the siren. The faint siren has gone here after 80 minutes here in the grand final. We're going to extra time in an absolute thriller. Five minutes. But whoever scores first wins the grand final. Who's it going to be? 
We're going to go back to Quick play the ball. Here's the kick. Downfield. Away from Smith. Until now. He's got to get back into the field of the play. Can he do it? The defence is trying to push him back towards his own goal line. Well, that should do us for the first five minutes here in Golden Point. So the clock has restarted. We're into unlimited time. Opportunity for the field goal. Can they kick it? That's the question. Hasselman. It's wide. He settles the play. Are we going to go for another snap? Noble. This one. Just wide. Inside runner. Back to Gretsch. Field goal. More than a grubber. Are in full motion. Still. That thought. Thinks he can go for a field goal from 55 metres out. Trying to do everything in their humanity to come away with it. Karma. Close to going into touch. And he is in the touch. Here it comes. There's a strike. He's missed it. Look for the field goal. McCormick. He's going to run it. Back away to McKeon. Ankle tapped. Play on. It's batten down the hatches here for the Thoroughbreds. The longest game of Rugby League is around 130 minutes. Here's a field goal from 35 metres out. McKeon. This is McCormick. Out the back to Webb. They're keeping it alive. Lost the ball. And celebrate well into the night. They're well inside. The Thoroughbreds half here. Wolfgang's going to score. That's the grand final. The grand final's gone. It's gone to Denman. Look at the scenes of celebration. Absolute thrill on behalf of everybody that's travelled up the Hunter Motorway from Newcastle. On behalf of the Bar TV technicians, the producers who have all put this telecast together. It's been an almighty effort, just like the victory from Denman, the underdogs, to win after 128 minutes of rugby league. On that note, it's good night for now.